My name is Zorcius. Once a novelist. But after losing my memory, I couldn't complete any valuable writing. Now I'm just a private detective with my clients. Until I receive this strange request. Investigate an infamous estate and find a man's lost daughter. Besides the check, it was the name on the letter that intrigued me. Not Orpheus, but... An alias that almost nobody knew, but me. Somewhere that's been deserted for ten years. This room's in remarkable condition. I think I'll stay here for the night. But it's too dark in here. I need to find an alternative light source before the fuel in this lantern runs out. Thank God. The candles here still burn. There should be some more on the wall. It's all psychological. These candles really calm the nerves. Paper airplane? Hmm. Something that children usually play with. Shook it from the lamp. Who made it though? This is what I can deduce from my initial analysis. That the paper used might actually contain some information from which I might find other clues. This looks like a page from a diary. Interesting. The date is from several days ago. The person who wrote this is most likely connected with our missing person. Although I can't write anymore, I still have him. By reading the text, I can attempt to reconstruct the scene and even find out information about the author. Attached to the main house. 
located some distance away. I think we are still at the manor, but it seems we're some distance from the main house. For now, I need to focus and retrace the steps of our mystery off. Huh. I should probably drink less. <coughs> Judging from the content, my guess would be that our author is male, right-handed, and of average education. From here onwards, the writing becomes even more wild and illegible. Fear has stripped him of his ability to describe his encounter with any logic, as if something was hunting him. stops here. What on earth does that mean? A carnival. It reads like something that was written. What I really need to do now is find the rest of the diary. Find out what's happened here. There should be other clues on these sheets of paper. The black powder seems to be charcoal. Hmm. The answer is probably close by. There happens to be a fireplace here. But something else has attracted my attention. The chimney has been sealed off. Seems the owner. There must be some more clues around here. This candlestick is... Uh, it's firmly attached to the fireplace. This is pretty important.
I used to detest bedtime reading when I was a child. Trying to find a diary with a missing page in here is like looking for a needle in a haystack. The search for one specific diary is no longer important. All of these diaries are significant. I have never seen anything so odd. It is obvious that these entries were not written by the same person. Hmm. They've raised more questions than they have answered. It seems I shall have to apply a somewhat...
still not clear about his role in this game, but he has what I'm... Perhaps it would be better if I try to approach the problem from another person's perspective.
And I was simply content to live with this new identity. Things rarely turn out as one hopes. I was quickly discarded by the public since I could no longer write anything of significance. And the detective firm that I started wasn't getting any worthwhile cases. I gave up on myself and turned to drink. I began having these episodes. After drinking heavily, I would wake up the next day with cuts all over my body. Sometimes I would come to only to notice strange objects I would not normally use next to me. At first I chalked it up to alcohol-induced blackouts, but even after I sobered up, the situation persisted and there were no signs that the episodes would stop. It got worse. The blackouts lasted longer and longer. In the end, I realized the root of the problem, at least according to my neighbors. It wasn't memory loss, but another soul in my body that had awakened. I don't trust the other guy. Even now I don't know what he's done while I was asleep. But now, he suddenly appeared and said to me, Trust yourself. I need to prepare for the worst. If he really had something to do with this, I need to be... Who's gonna believe me when I say that two souls can exist in one body? This is not a time in history when people believe in things like witchcraft. These diaries are the key. Sometimes, investigating a case is like no one knows what strange treasures will be dug up before the truth is revealed.
upside down. There seems to be something on the back of the painting. 